Hello everyone, in this video tutorial I'm going to tell you guys how to generate PWM waves. Now, P pulse width modulation is a modulation technique used to encode messages in the form of pulses. Basically how that's done is a sawtooth wave is compared with a message signal and if the value of the sawtooth wave is greater than the message signal then the output comes 0. If it's otherwise, the output comes 1. Let's try building a model that will generate PWM waves for us in Simlink. Um, we'll go to the Simlink library and from sources, we'll pick out the signal generator. Now the signal generator will generate a sawtooth wave for us. Let's change the frequency. Now this generated sawtooth wave will be compared with a compare block which We'll compare our sawtooth wave with a constant value. So now for our model, let's consider our message signal as a const constant value. Let's keep it 1, rather 0.5. And we'll connect the block. And finally, to observe the output, we'll need a scope. I'll change the axis of the scope so that we can observe both the sawtooth wave and the PWM wave all at once. Let's simulate it. So that is the sawtooth wave generated by the signal generator and that is a PWM wave. Now let's try changing the value of our message signal. Let's keep it minus 0.5. That is a PWM generated when we change the value to minus 0.5. Okay, so the PWM waves has many applications in controls uh, or while building a model that is a control based application. Similarly, another commonly used block is the transfer function block while building a model which is related to controls application. Now, Transfer function block provides us with the facility of assigning the numerator and the denominator just like we do it in MATLAB. Uh, so we assign the value of the numerator and denominator in terms of matrices and that's how we assign a transfer function. Uh, so let's say we try building a RC filter using the transfer function block and we'll give the input to the RC filter a square wave so that can be obtained by comparing the sawtooth with zero uh, I don't need the scope now anymore uh, so now the output of the compare block is of data type boolean and the input accepted by a transfer function block is of data type double so in order to convert the data type we'll use a convert block. Now this convert block, we can change the parameters that is the output data type to be double and click OK. We'll connect it and finally to observe, we'll use a scope. Now, as you can see on the right corner of the screen, we have defined the equations for the RC filter. Uh, the second equation is for the transfer function uh, representation of the RC filter. Uh, so let's change the value of our transfer function. Uh, the numerator stays 1 and the denominator will change to R into C and 1. Okay. Now since R and C are variables, we'll have to assign the values to R and C in MATLAB. I'll keep it 0.1 and we'll go back to our Simulink model. So that's how we assign it and we simulate it. So that is the output of RC filter which is observed uh, if we build a RC filter using a transfer function block. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and for further help you can log into www.matlabhelper.com. Thank you.